Taurus, welcome. This is your heart spread reading for December, the 1st of December to the mid-December time frame. Here, this reads the one that's on your mind and in your heart very consistently. It uh, doesn't mean they're with you necessarily. Uh, they could even be departed if that's who's on your mind. That's what we're going to pick up on. I've had that happen. So um, let's see. I had to do this ahead right now. I may put everything else ahead um, for technical reasons. <laughs> uh, but I kind of I like it. He's, that, the glare's making it. It's hard, but it's also kind of emphasized. When I first set this up for the cover, maybe, the sun was still hidden here. The Knight of Pentacles. That, this is how your energy reacting to them look at that you still see sun hitting it ah yeah there you go um so you're definitely reacting to them in a very solid way like you know you think this is a keeper uh, or the one something like this but you're coming in towards you may have a lot of cancer energy certainly could be so guys you're lit up here by the sun um there you are uh taurus now on the bottom of the deck, you do have the Empress as well. See, light that's light the Empress up in the sun. Yep, the Empress, beautiful red gown, you're coming in. So you're coming in with a lot of grace, you know, and um, feminine energy, divine feminine energy. Uh, someone here, Taurus, who's mature and strong. I like it that you're coming in with the Empress, you know, that's, wow, Taurus, right on, Venus in Taurus, that's what that is, you know, um, very beautiful, abundant, with the Queen here, very, very strong, capable, and with this person, you yet are, like, going at them with your best night, the night of Pentacles, actions, Mars, and our charts, or your Mars, it could speak to this, he shipped it into Scorpio soon. Well, I think that's going to be go time as my astrologer coming out. Here we see the sun coming through and, and on to this nine of cups. You know, I went to this reading earlier. I think I want to clarify the three of swords out. Um, I think what we kind of have here is a relationship that's not going to work out. Or I shouldn't say that yet. It's not going to work out without pain and with some initial separation. Um, but, you know, I'll see what the, i clarify three cards when I get there. So now the problem here, and then this is advice from Spirit for you too, Taurus. And I'll just say Ten of Pentacles, that's Taurus, second house, stable, strong. And you're coming at them. I mean, Crosswatcher, what the fuck? You know, this person, I mean, what do you, this person's really, uh, Taurus is coming at you with everything they got, with they kidding around. So, um, and this card kind of says it all. This is their energy, like you're the queen of cups, um, being emotionally vulnerable, being emotionally strong at the same time, mostly intelligent, aware, uh, available more than anything. This is kind of not available at all. Four pinnacles, that in the sun. Who can't get the, uh, come in sharp. So, but you can see the face on this card. They could kind of tell. I really get the feeling of your person's kind of disposition. So, I mean, they could just be deliberately coy. And particularly now, I mean, look at this. Then we get the four cups with them. This is their energy of how they're reacting to you. Here you are sending your best night. You're really, whatever happened initially, it was good. And you're like, I, I really am going to throw down for this. I believe in you, um, whoever this is here. Um, kind of could represent another earth sign too, but uh, you know, now it's like they're showing towards you disinterest. They could even be ghosting you. And the outcome is this. Now I think this now shifts to your reading. It's not really a love reading. This whole thing, whatever happens, whether it was in a marriage or just a crush or whatever that this relates to uh, is leveling you up to be this is nine of cups now you get the ten of cups but this has got to get this first and the advice from spirit is get this first get this brass ring first and and that's what's gonna make the difference it's kind of more about because with the two of swords i think this kind of shows where you end up so a decision has to be made i sense is you're you're the one probably that actually pulled trigger due to this them being you know 
so non-responsive and withholding. I would say their energy feels like withholding to me, Taurus. And this, uh, you know, I got to say it, that which does not kill me makes me stronger. It's going to be for you how soulmate stuff rolls nine times out of ten. I call them soulmate hit jobs because we arrange it ourselves. <laughs> Imagine we're up there making a hit on ourselves. Who wants to do this? And only someone that really loves you and cares about you is going to step up to the plate. So I'll, I'll do it. I'll make the hit. But they always bring you up so much. So we're talking something significant here. The timing is amazing with the eclipse just ending at 12 degrees Sag here on the new moon. we got until the full moon. This is the time period of this reading. Boom, something powerful. Now, with their advice now, though... I see advice from spirit if you were to share or if there's a cross watcher. It's very clear here. It's like they need to kind of, I want to use the term man up, but woman up. Like, you know, stand up, be legit, be honest, be open. Like, they're, they, I think they're just kind of being shady. It's not even respectful. You're meeting them with everything. Your knight of pentacles, your ten of pentacles. And, you know, here's the lesson for them, whether you never talk to them again or not. Um, this is not a good way to go through life, okay? Uh, what you're doing here is fine, you know? You just have to be willing now to realize that uh, at least for some time you have to withdraw your energy. So now we have the Page of Pentacles coming in. The Queen of Swords. I think the Page of Pentacles, that's you holding on right there. This is what that is, you holding on. Look at that. You're holding on to these, what you got, this Knight of Pentacles. This person gives you something. It could be anything, but it feels really solid to you. I think you really need it. This is you trying to hold on. But the Queen, a sword. Now, that's the Queen. Sorry, Queen of Cups. Can you stand back for a minute? Do you see the size of my sword? I will take care of this. And so, like I said a minute ago, I think you're the one that's going to be cutting this out of your life. You may think, no way. I would die for them or whatever. Nope. Now... We have the Knight of Swords. And again, it's like you're the Queen of uh, Cups. What do you do in response to this person? Your energy is you send the best thing you've got, the one that gets the job done. You're all for them. You do anything for them. You want them. You want the long haul. But they're just like, no. Um, it's, it's really obvious, okay? Um, so what happens then? You try to hold on. You call this your higher self. You're just taking control. The Queen of Swords takes control of the situation. This is you. This is the outcome become you. And now, what does she do? Like you sent out your Mars to engage. What does she do? What do you do now? You send out your Mars to disengage. Look, the light. if you put the Knight over here, he's coming right at this person to cut this person out. So, um, and that's for the good. But remember, out of all this, there, this is really the lesson. It's like where you end up after a period of this, you know, we all got to go there. Um, you're going to end up like really leveling up and like being in a perfect position to then, I would say, come in to the soulmate. Um, I mean, you're coming in with the empress here too. So another thing this tells me, this is, ne it's never the time to settle. But this is definitely not the time to settle. You're the fucking empress here. Overall energy, um, Taurus. So thank you guys. Appreciate it.